Tennis, a sport known for its grace and intensity, is synonymous with grandeur and competition at its finest. Within the world of professional tennis, the ATP Masters tournaments stand out as a pinnacle of achievement and a showcase of the sport's finest talents. In this video, we will delve into the significance, history, and unique aspects of ATP Masters tournaments that make them a focal point for tennis enthusiasts and players alike. Let's see which era of tennis players climb to the top of this tennis ranking. Who was better? The tennis players of the early open era like Tom Ocker, Rod Laver, Ken Rosewall, and John Newcomb, the king of tennis of the 1970s Arthur Ashe, or the ATP tour stars of the 1980s like Jimmy Connors, Ivan Lendl, and John McEnroe, do more ATP Masters tournament victories have Boris Becker, Stefan Edberg, Pete Sampras, or Andre Agassi? Finally, the big three of tennis, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic, will join the battle for first place. The ATP Masters tournaments, often referred to as the Masters 1000 events, are a series of elite tennis tournaments that are second in prestige only to the Grand Slam events. These tournaments are so named because they are part of the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP Tour, and offer 1,000 ranking points to the winner. As a result, they attract the most exceptional tennis players from around the world. The ATP Masters Tournaments, often referred to as the Masters 1000 events, are a series of elite tennis tournaments that are second in prestige only to the Grand Slam events. As a result, they attract the most exceptional tennis players from around the world. One of the notable features of ATP Masters Tournaments is the diversity of playing surfaces. While the Grand Slam events are categorized by specific surfaces, grass, clay, and hard court, the ATP Masters Tournaments encompass the latter two. The Masters events on clay and hard courts present an opportunity for players to prove their versatility and adaptability. ATP Masters tournaments serve as a challenging and essential segment of the professional tennis season. They act as a prelude to the Grand Slam events, offering players the chance to fine-tune their skills, accumulate ranking points, and gain crucial momentum. In essence, these tournaments are the battleground where tennis mastery is tested and honed. The Masters 1000 events are comprised of nine tournaments around the world, which are hosted in key cities with rich tennis traditions. These include the BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells, the Miami Open, the Monte Carlo Masters, the Madrid Open, the Italian Open, the Canadian Open, the Cincinnati Masters, the Shanghai Masters, and the Paris Masters. Each of these tournaments has a unique atmosphere and a rich history. ATP Masters tournaments have witnessed some of the most memorable moments in tennis history. Iconic rivalries like Nadal vs. Federer and Djokovic vs. Murray have unfolded on the courts of these events. From epic five-set battles to dramatic comebacks, the Masters tournaments have consistently delivered thrilling and unforgettable tennis action. The significance of ATP Masters tournaments extends beyond the trophies and prize money. These events represent a celebration of tennis at its finest, where the dedication and hard work of players are on full display. They offer a platform for tennis enthusiasts to witness the brilliance of the sport and the unwavering commitment of its athlete. Roger Federer has won 28 ATP Masters titles in his career. Rafael Nadal has won 36 ATP Masters titles in his career. Novak Djokovic has won 40 ATP Masters titles so far. Novak Djokovic is the only player to have completed the Golden Masters in his career, meaning he has won each of the nine ATP Masters tournaments at least once.